Hello everyone, Kendra Lewis here, Independent Sensi Director, and today I want to talk to you about social media management. So in our direct sales businesses, we all like to post on Facebook about our sales and specials and booking a party and joining our company and just whatever is going on in our company or whatever we have in our heads that we're going to try to do to convince everybody that we just have the best deal, the best product, the best company. And we like to use Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and so many other things to do that. Well, sometimes posting and posting and posting and posting, doing your best to just get your business out there can get, be counterproductive. If you post so many things so many times a day to the same people, they might delete you or block you. And if that happens, then they will never see the occasional really great deals that you may have to offer or whatever. I mean, if you're just posting so many times a day, eventually you're going to have people that unsubscribe to you, delete you, block you or whatever. And that's very counterproductive because like I said, once they do that, they're not going to see any of anything you have to say. So it's good to try to limit um, the things that you share on social media about your business. Something that I think is really important is to try to share posts that kind of do have something to do with your business, but aren't an exact sale. Like, take a look at these new shoes I bought with my Scentsy money. You know, like that is not necessarily an ad. That's showing your friends and family your new shoes. Or taking your kid to the zoo one day during the week maybe we're having take a picture of you and your son or something or your daughter or your child whatever take a picture of you guys and post on facebook we get to go to the zoo today so glad that my stay-at-home job lets me be flexible to do things like this you know something like that that's not necessarily a business post whenever you're posting about sales or specials or joining or hosting or whatever and putting your link on that those are business posts. And if you do, like I said, so many of those, you're going to lose your audience, okay? So Hootsuit is something I use to kind of help me manage my social media and make sure I post something every day, but not so many um, times that I overpower people. So whenever I post something to Facebook without using this, I want to try to make it be things like what I said about like new shoes or going to the zoo or things like that. Things that aren't necessarily advertisements, business posts, but they do have something to do with your business because you made that connection where maybe you didn't actually have to. But through this, I like to put all my advertisements on this. That way I can kind of keep track of how many times I'm doing it, where I'm doing it, and you can see lots of information from doing it this way. And also, if you're one of those that forgets to post about like the 10% off sale or the discontinued list or things like that, and you forget to post on a daily basis, then you would want to use this because you can also schedule it. So I'm going to go ahead and just get in here and stop yapping and show you how it's done. So you can create an account. It's free. I'm just going to go ahead and sign into mine. Whoops, did not enter my right password apparently. Okay, so once we're in, I'm going to show you how to schedule some posts. So I don't have any. I have, I've been slacking, not been doing much. I guess I have past posts that I've done to Google, Twitter, my Facebook customer page and then my personal Facebook page. So on my customer page only the people who like that page are going to see it and then on my personal page only my friends and family and whoever are on there are going to see it. Okay so let's just add, let's schedule a post. So to schedule a post you're going to go up here and you can um, put in a picture, you can write what you want to write or whatever. Let me show you what I like to do. So I like to go to my website. And I like to find a picture that Scentsy features. And I like to feature it 
in my post. So I'm going to pick the retiring fragrances picture. I'm going to post that. Well, it's not really letting me do it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, got it in there. Okay, so I'm going to put B. Whoops. Okay, so it adds that. It's, it adds its own link in there. I'm going to delete that out, actually. And I'm going to go back to my website. And I'm going to buy from an open party. And copy that link so they order from the party into here. That way it'll put the link there. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put, be sure to check out the retiring fragrances available now through the end of February. Stock up while you still can for 10% off. Okay, I'm going to put that, and then you can click shrink to shrink your link, and it'll shrink it, and it'll add it in there, and that's kind of cool. And then it'll have um, your picture posted, and you can schedule this, so you can schedule this for the future, or you can have it go right now. So I'm just going to have it go right now. And click schedule. Oh, I have to select my social network here. And you do that over here. So I'm going to do it to my fan page. Okay, and it wants me to schedule it five minutes for in the future. There we go. There we go. All right, so that is scheduled. And to take a look at your scheduled posts, you can click you can click this publisher and you can click scheduled and you can see your scheduled posts. And you can see like the past posts that you've done, so you can take a look at those and like even reuse them. Let's look at the month view. Oh, you know what? This isn't working because, oh, there it is. Okay, so you see um, this week I did all these scheduled posts, and so I can click those and look at them, and I can even reschedule it. So see where it says reschedule? I can reschedule that same post there. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule another one for tomorrow. And I want to feature a specific retiring fragrance that I think everybody needs to know is actually going away. This one. So I'm going to click the bar and I'm going to go ahead and drag the picture again and come over here and I'm going to attach a picture so I'm going to drag that in. I'm going to put the same link back in there. I'm going to put Do you love your love story? And then maybe the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. Your time to get it is now. So I put, do you love your love story? The clock is ticking. Your time to get it is now. I tried to come up with something clever there, but that's the best I could do. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put for 10% off. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow, same time of day. Oh, I, once again, I forgot to click my social network. Same one right there. So you guys can figure this out. They have trainings on this, but I'm just trying to show you this and hopefully I'm helping you in some way. But then I can go back to scheduled and I can see that I have one scheduled for today and one scheduled for the same time tomorrow. And then 
that's pretty much it. And then I can go to my page and see it posted there and it looks really nice. I'll show you a past one that I have done since that one's not posted yet. So here's one. Here's a time that I used it right here, and I featured a bar. So this is what it would look like. So it looks very nice and very professional. So that is how you use that, and I encourage you all to use that and schedule your posts. You can keep track of your stats. It's really cool. Um, your insights. You can see how many people have actually like viewed it and things like that, and how successful each post was, and. I mean, you can keep track of everything, so I encourage you guys to look at this and educate yourself on it, and good luck. I hope everyone has an awesome month. Talk to you later.